All right, welcome to another man's point of view. I am the Space Fugitor, and today got a video for you, right? Obviously, explaining the truth, right? The answer, and what you really should be paying attention to, right? Now, of course, this being the truth, most people don't want to hear it, right? Because they refuse to believe that there is only one way for this to work. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in, right? I will say, however, right, this is a channel for men, right? And for those that want to become a true man and women too, right? That actually want answers, right? Now, I'll explain it like this, right? You ever wanted to know this whole woman nature, right? You ever wanted to know how it works, relationship, the world, matrix, right? Systems, right? We all know this is one big ass system. But, all right, we don't want to believe it. But anyways, enough of my rant. Let me show you what I mean, right? And have feelings too. I think they forget that men have insecurities and a lot of them are really struggling. And I'll be completely honest, this is something I didn't understand the full extent of until I started this channel. You know, I started posting fashion videos and more lighthearted content, but when I was posting that content, it was impossible to ignore the other problems that men were facing too. But that is really why I started diving into these deeper topics because I think people don't fully understand. And while again, I don't necessarily think it's a woman's job to fix this, but you and there it is. You heard it right there, just like that, right? Of course, she's going to go on to disclaim what she just told you, right there. That's your answer. And that's how simple it really is. However, because it's so simple and so subtle, and it's in the middle of a long-ass explanation, right? And here's the title. Uh, five things wi uh, women wish they knew about men right five things that women knew women already know the one thing they should know we are men period that's it and everything that comes with it which is why they expect that and don't get it because men don't get it anymore right now you got these videos of this this woman is basically explaining to women that men have problems right and mental problems and emotional problems and that we have feelings too right and that somehow they're supposed to help fix change how they are so that we don't suffer but as you saw right there in the video she said it herself it is not our job. And truth be told, it is not. And as a matter of fact, it don't work even if it was. They can't do it. And even if they could, it don't work, right? For all those uh, out there that have ever been in an actual relationship would know that's not how it works. Why? Because it failed, right? But anyways... Uh, let's continue to show you what I mean again. Jeez Louise, we could give a little bit of grace and be a little more kind. Have some freaking empathy. I think empathy could really go a long way in just making people, and men specifically here, feel seen, feel valued, feel heard, feel like they're an actual human being, and not... You see? You see what I mean? Now, this is not popular, right, what I'm going to say, but you want to make a man feel you know where to make us feel all right <laughs> in all the right places if you get my drift but anyways right that's what i'm saying you get all this stuff being thrown out there about our feelings and you, let me be seen fundamentally everything that just came out of her mouth right makes me less of a man if that's what's the case do you not see this and this is what i've been trying to tell you all along and I know 
that there's a lot of people against me, and I am going up again, you know, upstream right? or in a shitty in a shitty boat without a paddle. But me being a man, I can pull it off, right? Because at the end of the day, I am correct. And that statement alone probably makes me lose a couple of subscribers. But hey, at the end of the day, if you don't want to hear the truth, this channel ain't for you anyways. So there you go. But let's go ahead and continue. It's an ATM. To be totally honest, as a woman, I think women can be really hurtful sometimes with how they talk about men. And see, again, to be totally honest, so there you go. So she wasn't honest before, and that's the thing. That's the thing about uh, women channels, right, that are for men, but in turn, you know, she uh, goes to bat for the other team because she is a woman herself, right? She ain't going to tell you the truth, truth. She's going to give you subtle truth in the middle of a big-ass lie, right? Why? Because that's, quote-unquote, woman nature. Now, that's my job to show you where these little, quote-unquote, woman nature things are sprinkled all around the actual truth, right? And the actual truth is actually so simple. It's so simple that it's so damn hard. Right. But again, it's one of those things, right? Paradox. It's <laughs> backwards from logic and it's something that seems like it shouldn't be true, but it is. And that's the part that everybody has a problem with. But you know, I'm trying my damnedest. So issues and again to wrap up this point here, I know I'm kind of rambling. I think we should just be a little more kind. What did I just say? so cool. I don't think it's that hard. And before we get into the next point here, big thank you to Factor for sponsoring. Of course, a sponsor. Your meals and enjoy time in his mouth. If you want something. Because that's what we're really doing, right? Bunch of damn commercials. You ask for it. If you need something, you should ask for it. And if you think to yourself when I say that, well, I shouldn't have to ask. I think that is part of the problem here. The subtle hints don't always land, and it's better to just resort to direct communication. And honestly... All right, there you go. Now, I know I'm pausing it a lot, but it's, it's the details that's important, which is why I pause it right there, right? Like you said, it's like I shouldn't have to give a hint. You know who would say that? And here's the part that I want you to truly understand and listen. The difference between being in an actual relationship and just talking out of your ass, right? Everybody has an opinion. Everybody thinks they know the truth. Everybody thinks and knows what they know, right? Up until they're in the actual relationship. Then they don't know a damn thing. Then it matters. Then their opinion sucks ass, right? Why? Because they're in it. That's why. So I show you the difference, right? Everybody, sorry ass opinions at the end of the day don't matter because they're not in it, right? So, when they are in it, all women, and this is the part, again, that I lose people, they all say, and no, I shouldn't give a hint. You should know. For the simple premise, right, and here's the part where you should understand what I'm trying to say, there's a premise, right? From their point of view, you can't be their ultimate man because you don't know what you're doing so think about it right you should know hence why they should not give you a hint does that make sense right because they're in it you should already know in their head and mind and if we're being truthful here you should know and that's the point you should already know what she wants, what she needs, what she likes. Off that premise, you are the one. And by the one, I mean the one she chooses, quote unquote, right? Or the one, the true guy that she should be with, right? 
and that's the point of this video today right i'm gonna make it simple now i'm gonna make it uh short sweet and to the point right you see the difference right between opinions right and what people want the truth to be to when you're actually right in the middle of a damn crossfire in the middle of a battle you could only win the battle one way one side wins it's not 50 50 it's not half truth half no one truth that's it one way that's it only one can drive the boat it's that simple now you choose who's gonna drive it however I will tell you this only one side right, should drive the boat and that's that's us right that's your job that's actually your job it really is <laughs> right so I can't uh, put it any more simpler than that and everybody will not agree or most people right will be like, oh, well may if we can both have our hands in the steering wheel yeah try that when you're driving in the freeway you can both have your little sorry ass hands right in the steering wheel and while you're at it give her all right a brake pedal on her side see what happens see how that works for you right when you're trying to turn and she won't let go anyways i'm going <laughs> she won't let you but anyways uh there you go right um i don't know if i should continue i, I think i made the point pretty clear right or you some of you guys might say well, i didn't make a point at all so i guess i i, I could continue expecting someone to be a mind reader is also just a red flag it's completely no, no 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 it's not mind reading see that's another fallacy see that right what what is it not even a minute long of this video and i could show you all the little fallacies right it's not mind reading it's knowing what you're doing in an actual relationship to suppose your sorry as opinion and everybody else's ideas of what a relationship should be right kumbaya land right oh well how about we all sit down and just communicate right <laughs> try that try that in your relationship try to communicate to your uh to your better half as they say right ah but there you go right see the problem with that and i could explain it pretty simple right the problem with communicating in a relationship is because you ain't communicating anymore right you're playing chess yes the old school game right mind games however you want to call it right because that's just the way it is it has to be because there's a, it's called compromise right you don't go into a relationship here you go you can have it all just because right nah not when there's stakes on the line and by that your little heart your little feelings right your little <laughs> your little ego when all that's right there and for the women it's actually more at stake hence the mind games right hence the no communication hence you should know what you're doing once again it goes back to that you should know what you're doing completely immature in my opinion no she says i shouldn't have to tell you you should just know that or i shouldn't have to tell you i want flowers you should just buy them for me perfect example of her dumbass opinions and you can see how she said it right well it's immature in my opinion yeah but if she ain't your woman it's irrelevant you see <laughs> you see what i mean it's like Everybody has an opinion about of of uh, relationships, right? Oh well, in my opinion, she shouldn't do this and she shouldn't do that. Yes, it's your dumbass opinion, but if you were her, you'd do the same damn thing, and I could prove it to you, right? Not many claim that they can prove it. I'm claiming I could prove it, and well, there you go. Once again. Right? It's that simple. It's the difference between being in it and then giving your sorry ass opinions of what you would do if you were in it. 
but the facts are the facts, right? When you do this, you give dumbass opinions. Up until you're in it, then you're asking for opinions, right? I see this all the time. I know the flowers is a stupid example, but it's one I see all the time. Asking for flowers and telling your partner what you want doesn't make it any less special. If anything, it's more special because you communicated effectively to them oh, here we and go. they listened to you. And I will be so... Right there is a death sentence in relationship world, right? Listen to what you just said and we'll end with that because I don't want to make the video too damn long, right? Death sentence. It's communicating successfully, right? An order and then going ahead and he doing it. Which will promptly, right, force her to kick you right square in the ass. Why? Because you just followed her order. Because that's what's really going on. Understand the truth, right? Understand that the only way, right, that I know what I am saying and telling you here in this video is because I know what I'm doing. Which is the uh, purpose of this video once again right it's a simple what's actually going on right when you understand what is going on understand what she just said right and i'll again let me break it down for you what she said is when you and this is from the woman's side right of the relationship notice she didn't say when the guy right if a guy can communicate, we can't communicate a damn thing, which is also part of the problem, right? Because again, you're not communicating. You understand? That's the point. In their head, right? They're not communicating. They know this. That's the other kicker, right? They know they're not. They're giving you a subtle order. And here's, here's the part where I hope right your little mind is blown when you understand it's not about communicating it's not even about the gift believe it or not it's not even about the order it's not about telling you what to do it's literally ass backwards it's to see if you would do it you see how it's poetry right it really is at least to me because the system is perfect. It's a perfect system, right? It works all the marks, right? Which is all the nice guys and all the guys that fail and relate. That you're all a bunch of damn marks, right? Because it's a work. Understand, you've been worked and you're the mark, right? And what better work than to tell you, right? That they're communicating something that they want only to see if you would do it not because they want it it's because they want to see if you would do it you understand that's how simple it really is right but again it's a perfect it's a perfect con if you want to call it i call it more of a it's a test right because calling it a con would be like you know it's something bad it's not bad right because then the whole manosphere you know all the damn red pillars and you know you on and on pearl running her damn mouth right about how women should change for the sake of us we don't need that damn help first of all you don't need to change right because if you did that would make me irrelevant right but that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic right but I hope you understood what I'm trying to say. You see the difference? It's doing something to find out something, right? Not because you wanted something. And I know how it sounds. I know it sounds so damn complicated because it is. However, I break it down, right? Build it, break it down again, and explain it to you, right? In little stick figure form. I could do it mathematically for you if you want to. I've done the math, right? For those that don't believe, I've done the math. I could show you little examples. I could show you where it, where it counts. I could show you why you failed, 
right? Once you follow the premise and understand the code, because that's what it really is, right? At the core of it, it's a process, right? To see if you would do it. So to give the dumbass example of the flowers, right? It's like, you shouldn't know that I want flowers. You should just get them, right? If she's not saying to get her flowers, right? You see the difference? She's not saying that. And anyways, if she did tell you that, that you should know that you should just get me flowers, right? And you go ahead and get her flowers. You see that within that same premise, you already failed. Because now she's telling you, you didn't know to get me flowers, right? And because you didn't know to get me flowers and now you're going to get me flowers, means you don't know what you're doing. Because you didn't get me flowers from the very beginning. Now see how crazy that is. And see how simple it really is when you break it down. Now I know it sounded like a bunch of damn... Like I repeated myself a couple times, right, with the flowers. But understand, there's an order. It's mathematical, right? It is complicated, but not really when you slow it down. Let me show you again. If she is telling you, you should have known that I, got, that I wanted flowers, right? Because you would have gotten me flowers. Hence makes you think, oh, you want flowers. So I'm going to get you flowers. But the fact that she already told you that you should have known means you already failed. You didn't get her flowers. So the flowers that come after the fact that she said it means, right, that now you're following her orders, which means the flowers don't count, <laughs> right? Because you're doing it after the fact, right? But what she really wanted to know was, first of all, Will you go out there and follow my order? Two, right? Are you listening, right? All sorts of complicated things. But the point is, the fact that you didn't get her flowers already puts you in the category of you're not the guy. You understand? So what's the cure, right? If this was a, a, a class, right? A school, right? I would write on the board and be like, all right. All right, kitties, right? Here's the mathematical problem, right? Here you go. Equation. Now, what's the answer? What's the answer? You should have known to get me flowers, which hence means you did not get her flowers, right? But now you're in your head, well, oh, you wanted flowers. So now I'm going to get you flowers. But she already categorized you, right? As the guy that didn't know because you should have known. Right? And I know it sounds so damn complicated because, you know, it is, but it's not at the same time. Right? Well, the answer is this. You missed that shot, so you don't get her flowers. But now you know that she wanted flowers. That's it. You could at least, right? you could at least not follow the order, right, at that point. But learn from your mistake, right? Now, next time, when you're uh, faced with this same situation, maybe you get another girl flowers. Not because you should have known, right, but because you wanted to. You see the difference, right? Hence, you wouldn't come up with that problem of, well, you should have known that I wanted flowers, right? Then you could go back at her. Well, I did get you chocolates, right? Because I don't give flowers. And then you're, you've now basically successfully passed the test. So you see the, <laughs> you see the difference? I mean, that's, that's it, right? Because you just eliminated the whole well. You didn't give me flowers. 
because I wanted flowers. Well, I don't give flowers. I gave you chocolates. Making me different from everybody else. Not to mention, I'm not going to get you flowers because, again, I don't give flowers. <laughs> you see the power struggle? It's a power struggle. Now, most women would scoff at this. Right? Be, oh. right? If you did that to me, it did be did that. Right? And then you could go back at it. Well, I wouldn't do that to you because you're not in my league. <laughs> and guess what? I'd be right. But anyways, and I'll tell you why. Because if, right, the girl that's scoffing at what I'm saying, right, don't like what I'm saying, it's because I'm not interested Meaning I don't care what you think, right? So hence the little paradox of if I did care, I wouldn't be telling you this, right? I wouldn't be showing you behind the curtains. But if I am showing you behind the curtains, because I don't care. So your opinion is irrelevant. If you did that to me, I'm not gonna. So why? Why is your, again, goes back to the opinion. If you did that to me, only hence, if they were in that relationship, they would do the exact same thing. And it would work. Right? But anyways, there you go. I end with that for this one. And um, so there you go. Um, hopefully I explained it. I know it's hard. I know how it sounds. I know that... You may not like it. Just understand where I'm coming from. I'm trying to explain the fundamental and simple premise that blocks everything. Every game plan, every advice you ever got, it all falls apart because you put in the wrong screw, right? To hold up the wrong, right? Uh, pillar or whatever the hell you built. If you're going to build something and the fundamental structure at the bottom, right, is ass backwards, no matter how you build it, it's going to fall because it doesn't hold, right? So here you go. Simple premise. Everybody's opinion, right, when they are not in a relationship, their ideas, their opinions, how it should be, all of that falls right apart when they're actually in it. When you're actually in it, now you hold stakes. Something's on the line. There's something you want. There's something the other person wants. Something the other person don't want, right? She's got more to lose, so understand, right? All these dumbass ideas that everybody shoots their mouth, right? Don't count until they count. That's the difference, right? Also, right, there's a bunch of, uh, there's three, like, three different fundamental levels to it, right? There's a single woman, there's a uh, um, girlfriend woman, right, and then a married woman. All three points are different because she has different dumbass ideas, right? That she will tell you because she's at a different stage in the relationship game, right? So a girlfriend, one, a girl that's in a relationship will tell you all the lovey-dovey crap to suppose a single woman will tell you all the dumbass crap that they wish they could have. And then a married woman will tell you the damn truth, right? The don'ts, basically the don'ts, right? And how her relationship is perfect, right? And she's a success story. Right? Because she's in it. You see the difference? Right? And the girlfriends, right? They're in that stage, so they'll give you their version there. And then there's everybody else. Everybody else that can't catch a fish, can't keep a fish, have no luck, right? Everybody's little version of how it should be, but they're not in it. So that's what I'm trying to explain. But there you go. Um, again, I said goodbye twice and didn't end my videos. There you go. I'll see you on the next man's point of view.